In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen, dearly beloved in Christ, and Father, Emmanuel, Awea. And I'll always share with you a touch of God's love. That's a short reflection and prayer on the Holy Mass readings of Monday, 13th November 2023. The readings are taken from Wisdom 1, 1 to 7, Psalm 1, 38, 1 to 10, and Luke 17, 1 to 6. The theme of the reflection is how to strengthen your faith. How to strengthen your faith. In the Gospel, Jesus said to his disciples, Obstacles are sure to come, but alas for the one who provides them. It would be better for him to be thrown into the sea with a millstone put around his neck than that he should lead astray a single one of these little ones. Watch yourselves. If your brother does something wrong, reprove him. And if he is sorry, forgive him. And if he wrongs you seven times a day, and seven times comes back to you and says, I'm sorry, you must forgive him. The apostles said to the Lord, Increase our faith. The Lord replied, Were your faith the size of a mustard seed, you could say to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it will obey you. Beloved, the reading shows that Jesus advised his disciples to avoid giving bad example, giving scandals, and to avoid unforgiveness, because these are like giving oneself a death sentence. If it would have been better if you were not born than to give bad example. And they immediately ask him to increase their faith. This could imply that we need strong faith to be able to give good example and to forgive. We need strong faith to be able to avoid bad example. But how can we get this strong faith? The Lord replied, were your faith the size of a mustard seed, you could say to this mulberry tree, mulberry tree, be uprooted and uh, planted in the sea, and it will obey you. It implies that strong faith does not depend on size. It depends on quality. A mustard seed is very small, but it can grow into a big tree because it has good qualities of growth. A mustard seed faith is therefore good quality faith. With faith that has good qualities or virtues, we can cast out mulberry, mulberry trees like bad examples and unforgiveness. That is why the first reading says, <clears throat> Love virtue, you who are judges on earth. Let honesty prompt your thinking about the Lord. Seek him in simplicity of heart, since he is to be found by those who do not put him to the test. He shows himself to those who do not distrust, distrust him, but selfish intentions divorced from God, and omnipotence put to the test confounds the flesh. No. Wisdom will never make its way into a crafty soul, nor stay in a body that is in depth to sin. The Holy Spirit of instruction shuns deceit. It stands aloof from reckless purposes. It is taken aback when iniquity appears. Wisdom is a spirit, a friend to man, though she will not pardon the words of a blasphemer. Since God sees into the innermost parts of him, truly observes his heart and listens to his uh, tongue, the Spirit of the Lord indeed fills the whole world, and that which holds all things together knows every word that is said. In short, to strengthen our faith is to live in virtues like honesty, simplicity, and so on, to avoid sin, to live in virtue, to strengthen our faith, is uh, 
to try to live in virtue while allowing the Holy Spirit to inspire us to take good initiatives. And when we do that, faith will work wonders. Dearly beloved, in the name of Jesus, be virtuous. In the name of Jesus, receive a mustard seed faith. Amen. Can you share God's love by subscribing to this YouTube channel? And share our discussion this message with others. The subscription is free. We are going for subscriptions at the bottom corner of the right side of the video. And may Almighty God bless and protect you always, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.